general, these benches, this is one of the legit reason why I would use one of these benches. The rest of this is the, the, the matches and wolves away from our good equipment. So normally, even though it's harder to set up and do all those things, those racks are beautiful pieces that would stay there and dominate there. Um, plus, if you're doing a super set with pull-ups like you normally see, it's just nicer and tighter. If you're trying to get them moving and get some active rest, I understand all that, but uh, otherwise, this is just going to slow things down for the other population. Let them use the crack. Let them use the smith machine and buy some trade. Okay, so feet, butt, shoulders locked in tight. I just want to see a regular set of 10 warm up. It's not heavy. Yeah. I'm just going to do barbell length time here, four reps. This is a warm up set of about 10. Yeah, you got a yep, right. Oh, you got a bad model. They knew it. That's a little narrow, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, the grip is narrow. Yeah, let's go. Now, before we start with the million. What's that? Can you see their arms doing this thing? Aren't they too narrow? Yes. Uh, well, I didn't see that. But do you have shoulder problems? Let's all think through this. Yes. Do you have shoulder problems? Uh, what's better on the shoulder, wider or narrower? So if he goes wide, he's going to tweak it. It's a little bit different of an angle. It's going to be stronger, get more chest work wide, absolutely. But I don't want to beat him up and tear his shoulder. So shoulder issues, narrow feels more comfortable with him. I could leave it there, honestly. Do you want to try going wider and getting the range? I mean, I'll do it. I just don't want to go to like, okay. I mean, we can go like, lots, you know, fill it. Uh, you can go the short range at uh, 185. Yeah. So 8 to 10 inch plus some force reps. Yeah. Okay, 225. Let's not mess with it, let's just go ahead and do it. So my goal here, Sean, will be 8 to 10 reps. If uh, it looks like a good set to get our 2 to 4 reps, we'll do it. Otherwise, we'll have that extra set. Okay. So, disclaimer, normally I'll go full of all the benches. I actually is one of my least favorite exercises next to the crossover um, and lunges and all that because it's so hard on the shoulders. I'd rather do flat and overhead press any day of the week. The angle here is very hard for most people to get dialed in. As soon as it gets heavy, it's going to cave in like Liz was saying, and it's going to put that pressure in the shoulder. I'd rather do an incline with many people, or even dumbbells sometimes. The incline just sucks across the board. So feet are dug in, butt, shoulders, that's why that's so damn crucial. Give me uh, 8 to 10 on your own, I'm going to come in for four reps. If it makes sense, otherwise it's just a warm-up set. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Two more fours. I'm with you. I'm with you. Four, three, two, one. Turn. Push, push, push. One, one more. I'm with you. I'm with you. Stay close. Four, three, two, one. Up, 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 push, push. Lock it out. And it. Nice. Good. Very right, well. Um, I just kept my hands close in the last one so I could get real tight because we pushed it far and it was definitely a failure. So I stayed tight so I didn't have to go in there and fuck with it. Up. So it just real tightened up. So that was good. That's just a basic uh, two, three, four strips on top of. That's how you're gonna have to feel it out anyway to see what how they're gonna hold up. If, I, if we go 10% higher than the normal prep on a 10 8, 6, let's say, you gotta be right in there and see how it goes. This would be a good weight probably for his next set of say 6 to failure. So 6 to failure plus 2 to 3 reps. It would be like 7 or 8. Or we got 7 on his own. So I would probably stay here and just test on the light side and be concerned. Okay, next.